So if you have seen our last two videos of the little Tokyo blind box unboxings or you follow us on Instagram, you might know that a couple weeks ago we were in Southern California on vacation and we also stopped by Little Tokyo! See, LA, like, you know, LA Kings. <laughs> Hashtag LA Kings, man. Dork. Hashtag dork. Anyways, so today our video for you is showing you what we got in Little Tokyo, minus the blind boxes, because I've already shown those off. I'm not gonna re-show them. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, I will put a link in the description so you can go check them out and you can actually see my reactions as I'm unboxing them. It's one of those kind of videos. But let's get started. So those who are unfamiliar with Little Tokyo, obviously it is an area that has a lot of Japanese-like stores and restaurants and everything. And they have quite a few that sell anime merchandise and all of that. And one of them actually is broken up into three different stores. It's called Anime Jungle. Hashtag Anime Jungle. <laughs> He's on a hashtag kick today. I don't know why. But one of them is specifically for like cosplay stuff and they also have those photo booths where you can take those really cute Japanese pictures that Dan would take with me. Hey, 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 you know what? That's, that's so actually kind of expensive. $10 for memories is not expensive. But anyways, so what we got from there are these little hooded like, I don't even know what you call They're them. They're hooded robes. Yeah. I'd say robes. I guess so. If you guys have seen um, Umaro-chan, it's like airing right now. It's basically what she wears, but with different characters. So I got Happy from Fairy Tail. Oh, I got I got Proto Man from Mega Man. <laughs> in case you guys didn't know. We wanted to start off with these because that was really bad. <laughs> Why well, is really hard to see? Because <laughs> you have a mask. But let's see how long we can wear these without overheating. I'm already overheating right now. I, I don't know why you try to do this. It's like the middle of summer. <laughs> On to the next item! So the next one comes from the Japanese Tokyo Lifestyle Store, which is spread out all over Southern California. So you can go to your like local mall in Southern California and it might be there. So they have tons of locations. And what we picked up is a Froki talking plush. If you guys have been with us for a really long time, you might know that I did a review on a Snivy one. I don't know if it's exactly the same because this is a different generation of Pokemon and it might have changed, but I'm thinking about doing a review for him because he's adorable and I want to see him talk and stuff, but this was my starter. So I did pick him up for $32.99 and you know, it might be a little expensive, but if he talks and stuff, he's totally worth it. All right, moving on. Ah, oh, Froggy. Good job. So sticking with the plush theme in one of the anime jungle stores, like the biggest one with all of the stuff, I got this Tibby plush from Okami Den. And he's really cute and he's really big and really soft and I love him. And I took like the second to last one. I took the last one in the storeroom and the person behind me actually took the last one and they had to do the display case one. But he's really cute and he's really adorable. And he's really big. I have no idea how much I spent on him either. There was no price and I was like, eh, it's vacation. It's little Tokyo, I'm going for it. But yeah, there's Chibi. So the next couple of items I picked up at the Kino Kuniya bookstore and they are just a couple of file folders and if you saw my anime bento unboxing I already told you guys that these cost $6.99 a piece and I was actually pretty shocked to see how much file folders actually cost they're probably much much cheaper in Japan but I liked a couple of them and again vacation so I just thought might as well and the first one I got is from Sword Art Online 2, and it has Kirito, Asuna, and Shinon. And then of course, I had to get a Madoka one. So this one has all of the girls. They had other choices where you could get like a single girl in a swimsuit, but I wanted all of them instead of trying to buy like five different ones at $7 a piece. Also at the bookstore, we picked up a couple of books. 
So one of them is just this one. It's called I Am Pusheen the Cat. And it's just a really cute, mostly picture book. It's just a lot of fun. So not much to say about that. This one's definitely a, a naughty manga because uh, it's wrapped. It's not naughty. I don't know why it's wrapped. I've watched the anime for this. And I really, really liked it, and I've been trying to find the first volume of it because I think it's just really popular right now and everyone's buying it up. But I was able to find it in the bookstore, so I picked it up. But yeah, I don't know why it's wrapped up because it's not a, a naughty one. It, it's kind of violent, but um, it's just basically about these school kids who have to train as assassins to kill their, like monstrosity of a teacher. I don't know, he's a really nice guy and it makes it fun, but he's also like plotting to destroy the world. So that's pretty much Assassin's Classroom. No spoilers, just a synopsis. Hashtag synopsis. And then also from Anime Jungle, I got this really nice bath towel featuring Grey and Natsu from Fairy Tail. I was really trying to find their figures, but they just didn't have them there so I settled for this bath towel which is still pretty cool I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I don't want to use it as an actual bath towel obviously definitely don't want bleach that towel oh my gosh no don't bleach it don't mix bleach and fairy tale it's just not a good combination oh I almost forgot about you it is a strap for Seraph of the End and I also got this at the bookstore. It was like the only serif thing that I could find. So I had to pick it up. I wish there was more serif items. I wish they would start making figures for the anime because I really, really liked it. And I'm reading the manga. And the last bit of anime merchandise that I picked up at Anime Jungle is this really cute Urza keychain. It just has her in a kimono sitting on a pillow. It's just really cute. And just kidding, because I picked up even more fairy tale merchandise at another one of the anime jungle stores. This one mainly featured like Gundam kits and other model kits and stuff, but they also had a whole bunch of the Vest Swites cards. But I got two fairy tale and two Monica ones so that each of us could have one, and we're gonna open up them for you right now. So we're going to start off with the fairy tale packets and let's see if we got any good cards. Well you have to tell me what I get because I still cannot really see. Oh yay! First card is a building. <laughs> you got Wendy. No, I got Wendy too. I got oh, wait, no Wendy is... <gasps> Wendy is my holo card. And then I got this really cool one of Urza as well. I got, I got Makarov. I got that same exact card. Yeah. Twinning. Oh, yeah, got I got a happy. Your happy is the shiny card too. Wait, is it really? Cause I can't tell. Oh man. So those weren't bad picks. Got a couple of good cards. Now onto our Monica packs. <gasps> my first card is Monica! She's my favorite and she's holding a kitty? I couldn't have gotten a better first card. I got this random girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I have Mommy. I got Psyche again, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm gonna rip this card up. No, it's QA! No, okay, no, look at that. He's like, it's he a got like a shit eating grin on. It's a pretty sinister looking cube. But I got a couple of mommy cards. I got the sideways one with mommy. Oh, I'll trade you. I'll trade mommy. I'll trade you. Like right now. Oh yeah, you okay, we'll trade our, our biases here. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Yeah. That's but how you, we trade cards. You can't have my other mommy though. I need at least one mommy. So of course while we were there we had to get a figure or two. However, I didn't see many that I didn't already have or ones that I wanted but were just too expensive. Like, we have Gotika, but I think they were looking about $500 for her. So some of the more rare ones that we would have liked to add to our collection were just too expensive. So I ended up just getting a prize figure and I got it of Kuro Sensei from 
some assassination classroom again. I had to get another item. I thought it was just really cool and it was only like $30 because it <laughs> is a prize figure, but he's just so cool. And he's like the best teacher ever if he wasn't going to destroy the world. So that was the only figure that I picked up. Dan, what'd you get? Oh, hashtag Gundam got, <laughs> got a red Zaku. Wow. But Mass it's, it's a Master Grade, so it's it's gonna be pretty big. What scale is it? It's like a one one hundred scale. So that was our little Tokyo haul from our vacation in Southern California. Yeah, I, I stuck out with this because I'm not a wuss. It was really hot! So I hope you all enjoyed our little Tokyo haul. And just let me know what your favorite thing is. Have you been to Little Tokyo? I don't know. Just let us know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe and like if you want to. But it's highly recommended that you do. <laughs> For sure. Hashtag do it. What is with hashtag? Oh my god, stop it. We're leaving now. Bye. Hashtag bye.